Tory Bori behaved erratically and out of character months leading to her demise. And she was heavily pregnant? Wow, stay tuned. my channel it's me vera that's voice every race accepts and if you're new here not yet a subscriber please feel free to hit the subscribe button right below this video but be sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out when i upload any new contents like this and more to all my returning subscribers thank you so much for remaining a veredict right so guys um information is just coming in that tori bowie was heavily pregnant at least seven to eight months pregnant before her passing Wow, now we're talking about two lives that has gone to be with the Lord. Reading from the DailyMail.com online, it says, Friends and neighbors have revealed Tori Bowie appeared to be heavily pregnant when she died this week at her home in the Orlando suburb of Winter Garden FL. That's Florida. Neighbor Zeha Agulu told DailyMail.com the track star's life was erratic and unhealthy. And she was once seen clutching a sharp weapon on the streets. Some even said they've heard shouting and screaming, loud music in the middle of the night. But she appeared to have gotten better much lately, said another neighbor who chose to be unnamed. One also recalled encountering the 32-year-old Bowie in the streets clutching a sharp object and screaming at a supposedly boyfriend. Now, the Olympic gold medalist Tori Bowie appeared to be heavily pregnant before she mysteriously passed away this week at her home in Florida, says the Daily Mail. Oh, guys, this is such a sad situation. And this is what we seem to be getting with a lot of our popular celebrities. You know, people going through things indoors that we don't know about. Guys, mental health and depression is real. Check on your folks. Do not assume because you see them smiling or you see them on TV that everything is okay. Keep people in your prayers. Check on people. People you have not spoken to in a long time, check on them. Just that one call could save a life. And look at this situation. Two lives gone just like that. Just like that. And we didn't know. We think that these people are living a life that is so glamorous and, and, and filled with joy. This just goes to show you that money cannot buy happiness. Love, compassion, being there for one another. Not neglecting, making time for one another out of our busy schedule is what we need right now. The world is going in a chaotic way. The world is in turmoil, guys. People are going through a lot. So let's get back into the story. The former track and field world champion also had a long history of erratic and troubling behavior, according to friends and neighbors who lived beside her in a winter garden, a smart Orlando suburb. At least two neighbours separately told the Daily Mail that Bowie appeared to be around seven or eight months pregnant when the Orange County deputies carried out a welfare check at 1pm on Tuesday and found her lifeless body. In another unsettling incident, the celebrated sprinter who won gold in the women's 4 by 100 meters relay at the 2016 Olympic Games is said to have pelted eggs at the house opposite. Police were called to perform a welfare check at her home in Winter Garden, Florida, earlier this week when they discovered her body. No further details has been uh, given in, with regards to what the cause of death is. However, they have stated that they do not suspect any foul play. A spokesman for the Orange County Sheriff's Office told DailyMail.com that deputies responded to Bowie's home to conduct a well-being check of a woman in her 30s who had not been seen or heard from in several days several days what happened to her friends and family i mean if she was really pregnant why wasn't anybody checking on her why wasn't anyone with her a pregnant woman she's gonna need help you know forget the fact that there may be mental issues related but she's gonna need help with doing a lot of things you know chores get bending down picking up things groceries even bathing herself I just had a baby like two years ago, so I know exactly what I needed. You know, I couldn't be on my own. Being pregnant alone is a lot of mental stress. It takes a lot out of you. Apart from the fact that your body drains you, 
of the energy that you need and the baby feeds off of you. This is just so sad. Like, it's really, really a sad story. As you get deeper into the investigation of what's going on, it's just so sad. I mean, I know some people can, you know, can segregate themselves away from other people, especially when you're going through things like pregnancy. But at the same time, it's a joyful moment. It's a joyful season. It's so sad, guys. But let's no continue. entry was made into the residence and a woman tenatively identified as friend Torish, Tori Bowie, was found unalived in the house. There was no signs of foul play. Now, information about the cause and manner of death will need to come from the medical examiner's office. We have no additional information to release at this present time. This was what the uh, Orange County deputies have stated in their press release. It says investigators have ruled out the foul play but are yet to release the cause of death. Now, check this, guys. Apparently, Bowie's $500,000 home had been on the verge of being repossessed over the past two years because she owed more than $22,000 to a homeowners association, according to the court filings that was seen by the Daily Mail. This is sad, really, indeed. Apparently, the garage door had been left wide open, you can see from this picture as well, a past three months, guys. Three months, and the front door and windows were frequently left ajar prompting locals to wonder whether the two-bedroom property had been taken over by squatters. So how come nobody was checking on her again? How come the neighbors didn't report it then? How can your garage door be open for three months? Three months. Yes, I know people say, mind your own business, do your own thing. But if you know this lady was pregnant, help should have been rendered to her a lot quicker than now. And especially if you're saying it's mental health, there must be a record somewhere. There must be a record somewhere. This is really, 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 really heartbreaking, guys. But I'm going to continue with the story. Neighbours have said we've heard shouting and screaming, loud music in the middle of the night. But what shocked me was that she appeared to have gotten much better lately, said another neighbour and friend, who declined to be named. I said this earlier. Now, having a baby seemed like it made her happier. That's what makes me so sad. We are all talking about two lives now exactly exactly this is really deep guys it goes to show that you can have fame success everything in the world but it won't fix whatever is going on in the inside she had personal demons but she was a good person now imagine a neighbor saying this that means you guys were aware of what's going on and you're all left her you're all left her like that i mean yes i know you can't take on somebody else's burden but Come on now, this is two lives. This this was a talent. This was a golden girl. This was a, such a sweet soul. I know she had a deep history with her mom leaving them and, and, and abandoning them in the foster home. But she grew and she made something out of herself. She became a star. Orange County Court records reveal Bowie, a standout track star and two-time NCAA long jump champion at the University of South Mississippi, had chalked up. 16 traffic infractions since 2019. So clearly, guys, there's something going on. And it was left unattended to. This, this is making me angry. Now, the Overlook at Hamlin Homeowners Association sued Bowie and an unnamed spouse in April 2021 for a non-payment of assessments on her property. She bought for $299,000 in March 2019. She's not even had that home for a long time, guys. And apparently it was scheduled for foreclosure in 2022, but the auction was cancelled and the case was voluntarily dismissed last July. On social media, her grieving sister, Tamara, who's 36, hinted at mental health problems. She said, people will pretend to be happy, have some sort of saddest soul, and people who do not try to convince the world that they are happy have the most genuine souls because they are content with just being them for them and nobody else. She said this on Facebook post and you can see it right here. This is really, really a sad situation, guys. And I'm really, really praying for the family. And I hope that they find, you know, comfort in God's arms. I pray that we can learn from this. I pray that something will be done. Why are all our celebrities being neglected to an extent? I know some of them dabble into things that they end up facing the consequences. But still, surely welfare and, and, and well-being should be our topmost priority. I hope you guys, you know, we can all learn from this. Take care of yourself, okay? Your happiness, your mental health is so important, guys. Do not neglect it. The world is already a tough place. So take good care of yourself. I took a screenshot of something she said during an interview when she hit the spotlight, as well as her last picture on Instagram. Have a little read through. You can stop this video to read it, be inspired. Continue to pray for this family. Rest in peace, 
Golden Girl Champ. So until next time, stay cool, stay blessed, and remain a variety. It doesn't matter what comes my way, you are still God. Intentional, intentional God.